Welcome to Lone Tar YouTube videos. This video is going to demonstrate how to make a bootable CD image only when backing up to a USB hard drive. This can include a Western Digital USB hard drive, an RDX Tamburg drive, or an RD1000 drive. The idea here is that the USB drive is not bootable, but we make a standalone boot CD only and have the USB device strictly as a backup device. So we go to option 6, Utilities. Then go to option 8, System Crash Airbag or Rescue Ranger, depending on version of Lone Tar you have installed. Now it's critical when backing up to a USB hard drive and it's only a backup device before you make an image, you want to exclude that drive from the Rescue Ranger or Airbag image. To do so, we go into the Configuration menu, Option 3, and we go to Exclude Hard Drive menu. Option 8. Now the drive I want excluded is already there, SDA. I'll remove it real quick. And if, for example, this is what you will see. So to add a new drive, you hit A to add. And you don't, even though the device name is slash dev slash SDA, you would only enter in the base name. The base name in this case is SDA. Now that I see it there, I'm going to hit Q to quit. Q to quit. And just to verify, go to the configuration menu again number three, and you should see it say active. That way you know it's officially written. You hit Q to quit, go to image administrator number two, and go option number one, bootable CD image only. It's going to tell you where the image is going to be stored, which will be in slash user slash air dash bag slash images slash saved underscore img dot dir. And this bootable CD image can be taken to any system, even Windows, and be written to a CDR or RW. During this process, it's very critical that you see this string, excluding drive SDA, or whatever drive name you have. If you do not see this string, please repeat this video, or you do not rely on your crash recovery media. Now the process is complete. You press enter and we can quit all the way out to the main menu and get out to the command line and if we cd to slash usr slash air dash bag slash images slash saved underscore img dot dir present working directory and if you do a long listing there's our file aaboot.iso. You can take this file anywhere, even a Windows machine, and burn a image, CD image and make a bootable CD that way. Again, test all disaster recovery media before you rely on it. Thank you.